It is my pleasure at this point to introduce the county prosecutor, Tim McGinty. I want to thank all the other prosecutors who have participated and, and, and everyone else. They, and I, importantly, I want to acknowledge uh, Coach Ty, Tyrone White, who, uh, who has created this Lowell Man project and this movement. And, and what a good one it is. Suicide's the third leading cause of death for young people between age 15 and 22. The uh, suicide attempts are on the rise between 2009 and 11. It, uh, it's rare that a, a, a young person uh, commits suicide without a reason. It's uh, most often associated with a tragic uh, or humiliating situation that they can't handle. Also, studies have shown a shocking uh, level of abuse in teenage uh, dating relationships. Surveys have revealed that teenagers, uh, approximately 47% had a partner engaged in controlling behavior. 29% experienced physical, sexual, or, uh, uh, and, and threat or other abuse. Sadly, the same studies show 80% uh, of teenagers who knew someone or, or, or had friends that were involved in abusive relationships. So the problem is out there and we have to deal with it. We want to help end this type of destructive behavior and we need your help and you can do something about it. You can make a difference. I uh, appreciate everybody who's uh, organized this event, particularly Coach Ty and uh, the enthusiasm he brings to the event and, and the movement. And thank you, especially you, for all you're going to do today and spread the word to your friends and, and be an eye out in the community. Thanks very much. First speaker is Latina Bailey, Assistant County Prosecutor in the Juvenile Division. Along with her is going to be Major Trial Attorney Sherry Royster. Next, we're going to have Leah Hackney from the Ohio Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. I had to call her a couple times to get down here. That's a treat. Next, we have Joanna Lopez, also with the Cuyahoga County Prosecutor's Office. She's a permanent APA in the Juvenile Division. Next, we're going to have Coach Ty. Everyone knows Coach Ty, right? Next, we're going to have Assistant U.S. Attorney Michael Sullivan speak. Then along with myself and my good supervisor, Ralph Kolinsinski, and then we're going to have Teresa Matthews, uh, Victim Witness Coordinator. You can be prosecutor for things such as disseminating matter harmful to juveniles and by harmful I do mean any material or performance describing to represent nudity, sexual conduct, etc. Anything like that. You can be charged with pandering obscenity, involving a minor, pandering sexual orientated matter involving a minor and that's anything you create, reproduce or publish. When we're talking about photos or you know posting stuff on social media we're not just talking about sexting although that is huge. But those same photos that we think are innocent when we're young can also come back to bite you. First thing you need to know is sexual predators are online. You live in a city where you just saw three young women come back after a decade of captivity. So if no other group of young people should know that they do take you. Sexual predators do take you from your home. You all should be aware. So the bill does two things. First, it would expand the offenses of menacing by stalking and telecommunications harassment. And the second item, it would prohibit a person from knowingly causing another person to believe the offender will cause physical harm or mental distre distress to the other person's immediate family. Specifically, I'm going to be focusing on teen dating violence. But what you're going to learn here today doesn't just apply to you as a teenager because once you are an adult, these same behaviors you'll be able to recognize and adapt to your lives when you reach those ages. Jonathan and I have chosen approximately just, just four different types of sexual assaults to review with you. Three of them deal with sexual conduct. One deals with sexual contact. If you take nothing else from our lecture with you here today and our give and take, Please understand that by the time you leave here, you'll understand that rape is just not the insertion of a penis into a vagina. Every 21 hours, there's a rape committed on a college campus in the United States. So that's one rape a day. One in 12 men admit to committing 
some type of sex offense that you just learned about, but do not identify themselves as rapists. The, the, the community of Woman, the student groups from Woman are going to be part of the process of creating a curriculum out of the content that we have here today. And it's going to go to every high school in the state of Ohio. There are 892, which means that you will directly be involved in impacting, just from this room, over 600,000 high school students. And if we add into the mix the middle schools as well, that number will probably jump up another uh, three to four million, uh, three to 400,000, almost a million people in Ohio alone. So you think that would look good on your resume if you're applying yeah. to a college somewhere? Yeah, so Woman is the way. Woman is the way in the direction that we can take a lot of people is where they need to be.